I'm gonna show you a target here. I'll let you hear it first. Well, those are some really good numbers. I'd say it's in the quarter range. You can hear it jump out with this machine, but listen to all the trash around here. I'll turn off the discrimination for a minute. I mean, there's just, there's garbage everywhere here. That would be really easy to miss, but with the highest tone cranked up to the highest pitch. You're sleeping alone. You can just hear that, that high tone jump out at you there. This machine is kicking ass in the iron. Well, you saw the ID, it was reading right in the quarter range and sure enough, it is a quarter, it looks like a barber. Uh, I think that's silver number six with the Equinox and I've only had it a week and a half, two weeks now. And uh, even through all this junk, you can see all the nails and uh, melted aluminum and that kind of stuff that came out of the hole. It was able to give a, a proper tone and a proper ID. So pretty impressive. Let's see what we got here. There's a barber. Tito six. See if she's got a mint mark. Just about out of water. I don't see one. All right. Uh, like I said, I think that's silver number six. So I'm going to keep on going and we'll see what else we can turn up here. A couple of my viewers asked me to do a walkthrough on my coin program, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, the base mode is part two. I've found that that one tends to perform a little bit better than part one in the places I've been hunting. And of course, volume and threshold, that's all personal preference. Set that up however you want it. Now by default, uh, part two has the target tone set at 50. You wanna lower that down to five. And we'll hold in the settings button for a second or so to access the advanced menu. You'll notice there's a line up under the icon there. This is where you set up your tone pitch. Now, the idea behind my program was to be able to go out and pick out high conductors in the silver coin range in areas that are really trashy or have a lot of iron. So I set the highest pitch to 25. I set the first tone to one, the second tone to six. That's the nickel range. The third tone to 12. The fourth tone to 17. That'll be where your Indians and Zinks ring in. Like I said, the last one set at 25. Okay, so we'll hold in the settings button to get out of the advanced menu. Next up is accept and reject. I've rejected everything from negative nine all the way up to seven. Okay, we'll hold in the settings button to get to the advanced menu. This is where you set up your tones. Uh, the first one, which is negative nine through 11, that's tone one. The next one is the nickel range, that's 12 and 13. Tone two. Next one is tone three, which is 14 through 17. That's where a lot of pull tabs and junk like that ring in. Okay, next up is 18 through 23. Actually, I'm gonna lower that down just a little bit. That's your Indian head and zinc range. And then of course, 23 on up will be your silver coin range. Now, uh, silver dimes will ring in around 26 or so on an air test, but when they have iron or other junk around them, they read a little bit lower. So I lowered that down. Instead of going with 25 or 26, we'll back it on down and accept 23 on up. Okay, we'll hold down the settings button to get out of the advanced menu. 
Next up is recovery speed. I have mine set at seven because the areas I've been hunting lately are just slam full of trash. You can lower this down a little bit and get a little bit more depth and clean up some of those iffy signals, but it's a trade-off. You'll give up some separation. We'll hold in the settings button for the advanced menu. This is our iron bias setting. Now, I, have, I keep mine set at two or three because I've found that with it lowered down to zero, I tend to dig a lot of nails and other junk. Some people are able to do it. I'm not one of them. Uh, again, this, this setting is a trade-off. You don't want to go too high with it or you give up separation. But that's it, guys. That's my coin program. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.